What is up everyone? Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. My name is Cody Seibert and in this video I'm just going to talk about a bug that I just wasted an hour of my life trying to fix in React. And it's one of those bugs where you search Stack Overflow, you search GitHub issues, you search everything, you read like tons of posts, and then you find out that the bug was actually just a simple syntax error that you did because you accidentally forgot to go back and double check what you wrote. So if you're a beginner, there are so many times you're going to run into this issue where you type something incorrectly, you're passing a, an argument incorrectly, you're passing the wrong type of argument, and the error message you get is completely worthless, or at least it seems worthless at the time. So when this happens, um, I mean, if you want to learn from the mistake I just made, the best thing you could do to try to prevent that is... You could probably use TypeScript or some type of typed language. That will help catch some of those issues if you're a beginner. But for those more, um, like not syntax errors, but the semantic errors where you're passing something incorrectly or doing something wrong, it helps if you spend extra time just double-checking your code or triple-checking everything you write. Right? If you write a couple lines of code, 10, 20 lines of code, go back and reread it. And then go back and reread it one more time and make sure that there's nothing that you're doing incorrectly because it could take one minute of you double checking your code could save you an hour or two of debugging time. And that is what happened in this little example I'm going to give. So in React, I have this app.js component that has a subcomponent called lobby. Okay. And I have an effect that connects to a WebSocket. And it basically checks for an event called games. And when it gets games, it's going to call the set games. Uh, setter function. So this is games is a state, and we're just calling set games, which is a setter for the state. So if we go up here, we see we have use state. But anyway, I thought this was the issue, right? I thought this was related to the issue, um, but it wasn't. I spent like so much time looking into this because whenever I comment this out, everything works fine. Like if I save this, the error goes away, and everything works. So I thought the issue was with this use effect stuff. But it turns out the issue is unrelated to that. So if I add that back, let me show you what the error is down here. Of course, now the error is not happening, so what the hell. Hold on. Let me refresh my server. I think the WebSocket is not sending back. Okay. So obviously my WebSocket server is crashing. I made some changes that break that. But if you look at the actual error message it says cannot update a component app while rendering a different component lobby to locate this bad use state or set state call inside lobby follow the stack trace as described in this so the error message is it seems like it's useful but it doesn't really hint as to like what the actual issue is it just cannot you is pretty much saying like you can't change state while another component is updating and if you're a beginner, you're going to have absolutely no idea what that means. Or if you're a noob at React, which obviously I must be, they give you a link to this GitHub issue that has like, my God, I don't even know how many like people. Like You expect the beginner to read through all this crap and figure out what's wrong with the code. Like You're out of your mind. And then you end up reading through all this, and you're like, dude, I don't know what any of this stuff means. It's just people like pacing like their frustrations and what they've tried and stuff. And it doesn't help you debug the issue. And so after, you know, you take this code, you'll Google it on Stack Overflow, Stack Overflow, you'll type in this bug, something comes up and you're like, oh good, maybe it'll help me. And you read through that crap and it really doesn't help you at all. It's someone doing something completely different. Uh, he's not even using like functional components, so it doesn't really help me that much. It might, I, I don't really know, but it's like, dude, you can spend so much time just reading through all these people's issues. You get to the bottom, no one's responded to this one. So it's like, okay, well, what's the point of reading through this if no one has a solution? And you spend like so much time just trying to debug something. And then finally you just like take a break, you come back. And this is, this is actually what happened. I took a break, I went into the dishes, I came back. And I'm like, you know what? It says that there's something wrong with lobby, right? The call inside lobby, the set state call inside lobby. If I just read this error message, it says there's a bad set state call inside lobby. Well, if you go to lobby, I forgot that I'm calling a method called join game, which is passed in as props, right? So join game is a property that's passed in, 
or an attribute or whatever you want to call it in React. I guess it's a props. And this method calls to setter functions. Okay, so it says my issue is in lobby. But it turns out the issue is actually a function that's declared in app that's passed into lobby and is invoked in lobby. And it's saying that these should not be called when app is being rendered. So I'm like, okay, then there must be some issue with lobby where like I'm calling something that's trying to update state and stuff is breaking. And then if you take a closer look, like if you look real close to the code, you'll see that I'm invoking a function in this on click event handler, okay? I'm directly calling it. So when this application, when the, when the lobby component renders, it's calling this directly. It's calling it right when it renders, which is causing it to set state and app tries to re-render re and this crashes, okay? So the solution was put that in a fat arrow, put that in an, uh, an anonymous function call or whatever, and the error was resolved. So it's like, dude, I spent an hour plus trying to debug this issue and the issue was something so simple that if I just spent like five extra minutes reading through my code or maybe there's a linter that could have told me, hey, make sure you always use fat arrows when you're calling callback listeners, okay? Like there's probably ways I could have mitigate this. But ultimately, if you, if you look at this as a beginner, if you run into issues like this, like I'm experienced in terms of a developer, I'm pretty experienced. So it took me an hour to debug this issue. If you imagine a beginner running into a bug like this, they could probably spend an entire day or a week trying to debug this. Or they might just give up. And I think that's probably what happens a lot is you hit a brick wall, you hit a bug, you have absolutely no idea how to fix it. You, you don't even know how to Google for fixing bugs because you're a beginner. And then you're like, dude, programming is too hard. And the fact is programming is hard, especially when these libraries and frameworks that people like treat like the holy grail give you really esoteric error messages that don't really help. Like I think React could have done a better job at explaining more of what happened. Like it could have just said, you're calling a setter function directly inside one of your functional components. Or I, I don't know. I feel like there's, there could have been something instead of linking to a, a issues report that has like hundreds of posts on it, <laughs> like there could have been something more uh, descriptive to help the user debug what the issue is. And maybe that's just my lack of understanding of how React works. Maybe it's hard for them to know what the actual issue is. But in terms of React being a library, library should be smaller, then they should be doing more due diligence of like giving proper error messages. But I'm just ranting right now. I love React. I'm not hating on React. I'm just frustrated that it took me an hour to figure out why I was getting that error and the error happened to be that I probably should have called this in an anonymous function. So for all you people out there struggling with web development, struggling with programming, just know that this is normal. Like no matter how experienced you are, there's going to be times where you type something wrong and you spend 30 minutes or an hour or a day trying to debug it and you realize that you might have just you're passing an integer when you should have passed in a float or you're doing something strange. You're passing in a string that when you should have like, I don't, I don't know. There's so many different things you could screw up in programming and it becomes very frustrating uh, time and time where you keep hitting bugs. So just stay positive. Keep pushing through these bugs. Um, once you see the bug and you spend a day trying to debug it, I guarantee you, you will never get caught up on that bug again. Like if I see that error message again, I'm going to know what the issue is. I'm going to be like, okay, well, I probably forgot to do this. For, probably forgot to do an anonymous function. It's probably directly invoking a setter function inside a subcomponent and causing an issue, right? That is probably going to be so ingrained in my mind that I'll never see that issue again. Hopefully, you know, you never know. I might be back on this, this issue report in two weeks when I hit a bug again, but that's about it. This is just a rant. I want to just, you know, let people know that this stuff happens and it's frustrating, but power through it, and just learn from your mistakes, learn from your bugs that you try to fix. Again, this is a web dev junkie video. If you enjoyed watching this video, please click the subscribe button and the like button and leave me a comment below if you hit any type of issues like this that have made you want to just quit programming in general. All right, thank you for watching and have